next thing um, I I like to um, explain on this putting doors and uh, windows to this plan and um, in order to do that let me go to my default to the door um, to parent uh, toolbar and I can you can see it right up here on this one by by double clicking on this one you open the default settings on this one and you can make changes to interior doors this is how my interior doors is going to look or you can make changes to my to the exterior door this is how the exterior doors uh, is going to draw in my plans for right now I'm going to call this one the OK uh, if you go to windows here you click on the window and you open the, the default settings on, on windows and this all my windows are going to be 60 inches wide by 60 inches high right now I'm gonna call it this that's how I'm gonna draw my, my windows and call it OK and um, all I need to do is add windows here I click on my uh, window and I'm going to add a window he here on uh, on the on the dining on the um, uh, kitchen. I'm going to draw a window here on the garage. I need a window in the, in the garage. I'm go I'm gonna need a window here. I'm going to have a window in my um, dining room, bedroom, and the other bedroom. Um, if I want to center my my uh, window, in order to do that, I'm going to the to this tool over here, and it's called Center Object. By clicking on the, by left clicking on this one I can come over here and by putting in put it inside the, this room show you a line all I need to do is click on the line and the window is going to draw right in the middle of the of, the, of that room um, I'm going to go to to this window here To this window here because I want to make uh, two windows. So I have to make get this over here and make it smaller to three feet. Is that uh, three feet? And I'm going to make a one right there. I'm going to go to the bottom and copy and paste and add another one right here and I'm going to also copy and paste and add one more to this bedroom right here I want to to add some um, doors one, one click and I'm going to have the entrance, the entry door, and then I'm going to have a door here, a door here, or door for this restroom. I'm going to have a door here for the air condition, and. Um, I'm going to have this door, this door, this one, and this one, a door here, and a door going into the kitchen. Um, one more thing, I'm going to have a um, door here for my um, 
to go into the patio but I'm going to make this one a double door so I I, um, I, I right click on this one to open it right click and I go to the bottom here and I, I left click on this one to open it and this is the way how it shows in my um, in uh, the way how it's drawing uh, the, the door right now to the default here this is how I, I it's my default but if I go here I can make it glass I'm gonna click on glass and it changes to glass but now I'm going to make some um, do add some uh, um, lights I click on this one and right now it's only one light I'm going to make this one three I'm going to make this one three uh, going uh, across and I'm going to make this one five to make it a 15 light um, and I go here to general and instead of making it 36 you see how it changes to 15 light if if I want to change this one I'm going to make it 72 to make it a double door 72 inches and I call it OK and it changes to a double door a double frame door and it's opening to the outside but I want this one to open to the to the to the to the to inside I right click on this one I go here and I change string the string I click on this one and the door changes uh, open it to the inside um, my defaults are all um, two feet eight inches wide but this door I only need it to be two feet so I right click on this one and I drag this 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 arrow and I'm going to make it until I see the two two feet right there and um, there's one way to do it another way to do it is you right click on this one you go to the bottom to open it and um, instead of making it 32 here you just change it to 24 inches and you call it OK and now the, the door is, 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 is a 2 feet door so this one we are also going to make it 2 feet and we want this one to open to the to, to inside I can grab this one and make it open it to the inside this one opens correctly this one I need to open to the inside first I'm going to adjust the, the, op the, the width two feet and another tool to do that is if I right click if I right click I can change the swing I can ch change the swing to the inside and I can see this inside but I need it to open to this to this side and I go to this tool to change the opening on the hinge side I click on this one and it changes to to open and I'm open this way to, to the right way this one needs to open to to the opposite side and opens correctly now now I'm going to add some um, bifold doors here I go to my to my doors here I click I left click on the 
arrow here and I also, this is how I'm drawing right now, hinge doors I'm going to go to by full doors right click on this one, I mean uh, left click on this one and you have the bifold door now uh, design here all I need to do is come here and put a door here but it's only at 2 feet 8 inches I need to make it 4 feet Alt click right click I need to open it and I'm going to change from a 30 inch a width to 48 inch and I'm going to say OK and now it's, it's drawn uh, 48 inches I'm going to right click copy and put another one in the other uh, closet right click copy and paste and add one more on this closet in this bedroom right here and I need to add now a garage door I go to the top to my doors here I click on the arrow go to my garage door click on the garage door and add it right there um, I need to adjust the dimension either I, I drag these uh, arrows to the size and make the size or, I, or just right click open and the dimension and change my dimension here to 16 feet and I'm going to call it OK um, the last thing I want to do is I need to add two more windows here so I'm going to need to add this window and this window on the uh, next to the, the front door and I'm going to make this one um, an arch window because if I open it I right click on this one and open it it shows that it's a square so I'm going to make it an arch window and I have the option here on top I, le I left click on this one and it says no arch is a square so I'm going to make it a broken arch and I put right here like six inches how it looks so I'm going to call it OK and that's how this one is going to design I'm going to make this one the same thing these two are going to match so I'm going to right click on this one cut it, uh, erase it right click on this one and copy and paste over here and I'm going to center this one in the room and um, let's see how it looks uh, with windows But this is how I got it and I have my doors inside 